welcome to a new fort building budget challenge. And today's video is very exciting because it is sponsored by DraftKings. We'll tell you more about them in a little bit, but let's head to the Plinko board. So this works like any old budget challenge. You drop the ball down and whatever amount you get is your budget to make your fort. But the budget is gonna be known as your salary cap for this episode, because we're gonna be like our own fantasy teams. Also, we have a new tile, steal an amount from another player. Is it gonna happen this episode? And another tile. Whoa. $80 <laughs> or re-roll. Can I drop first? Sure. Yeah, Jack. Don't fail me now. No! sports and in DraftKings you draft nine players and each one has different salaries and you got to stay within your salary cap which is what we're doing for today's budget challenge you're transforming one quarterback two running backs three wide receivers a tight end a flex spot and a defense into different fort components oh let's go just made it to the store and as you can see we each have our own draft board and at the top we have our salary cap so he has 17 dollars i got 75 a thousand how does this work let's go so just like DraftKings, you got nine players here to fill up your roster with your salary cap we have converted each position into a fort product so we each only get one structure two furniture items three snacks you get the gist let's see if we can fill it out let's go buddy who's gonna build the best fort let's go so i only have $17, but I've decided I've got to get a structure, right? So I thought shower curtains, look at all of how pricey these are. Obviously, they're way over my 17 but you keep going down here in the secret spot. Not 240 no 94 cents, bro, for a shower liner. We might get two. And they have found the gold bar of structures. It's a kid's tent. It's only $16. That means I have plenty of money left because I really want to go all out in the snacks and game part. My first item, I have got this camp sofa. This is perfect. 50 bucks. And then this is just some spool dollar 16 bro with that we've got our structure ladies and gentlemen Aha! Aha! get in there oh, are you guys kidding me right now 597 for a chair count me in right, so i've gotten my two running backs my furniture and then my flex i'm going to use it as another furniture my table so we got that checked off Looking pretty good inflatable seat cushion man two dollars we gotta find another piece of furniture my roster is almost finished i have one thing left which is snacks. You gotta get the biggest baller snacks of all because I do have about 20 bucks right, left. So the last thing on my board is snacks. All right, buddy. Perfect. So all my years being a children's pastor, I know the secrets about church food. You know, because we're shopping cheap. These are called church cookies for us. $1.72 for however many that is. You get the variety, actually. Variety. I'm having a dilemma. This is like the star player. Mm. Should we shell out for furniture and just get a basic structure or go for a cool structure and basic everything else? We are back from the store with all our supplies. It's time to get building. And as you can see, we each have our team jerseys on. Mine are the dinosaur convicts. Uh, my team is the limesicle cacti. And I'm number 10, because if you're looking to draft a player, maybe Jerry Judy from the Broncos, I'm just a little recommendation there. Don't know who that is. And I am the excellent eggs. You guys are gonna wanna draft my team. They are excellent compared to the dinosaurs over here. Rawr. But oh choose whichever team you want. So, which team are you on? Cast your votes in the comments right now and we'll see whose draft won at the end. I am here at my fort campsite. I'm gonna be building everything right in this zone. And it looks like I didn't get much, but trust me, this is gonna be one nice fort. 
Let's get building. So uh, I'm gonna set up my structure, my QB. I can't, what I can't open. That, dude? This is fishing line, and so it's, it's good. Thing, you know. It just. We'll start with. We'll start with. The so I got my, my, my shelter, my fort here. I really can't get the string out. It's a quick pitch, fast setup tent. It seems like a decently good size. It's five foot by three foot by three foot. Super small bag. The bags are deceiving. So mm. I'm gonna get this set up. Perfect. Hopefully this tent doesn't take a brain surgeon to put together. Help! Boom! Just like that. Got my tent set up. It's time to start decorating, and it's actually pretty. Tea roomy. It looks small, but ain't gonna lie, I could sleep in here all night if I wanted to. So uh, this is going well. So I've got my string, and I'm gonna block the sun. So that'll be good. All right, my fort is coming along quite nicely. Also, I probably will need some friends for helping purposes. What friends? Well, I thought I had friends. No? Bro, this is the inflatable chair I got. I thought it was supposed to be really big. It comes with a straw to blow up. <laughs> Final stages, really installing the snacks. And I'm ready for the grand reveal. I'm working on inflating my couch. Yes, a couch. We just finished building, but first, if you guys love playing online fantasy sports games, please give DraftKings a download, link in the description. You can download and play daily football contests all season long. And if you sign up, use our code MoreJStew and you can get a free shot at millions in prizes. Thanks DraftKings, now time to tour the forts. All right, we are going to see Hyper's Fort first because he had the lowest budget, but joining with us is Celebrity Referee. My name is Kingsley Draftington III, Esquire. I have 63 and a half years of experience here to see if these amateurs have what it takes when it comes to building forts. Hi, welcome to the T-Rex tent. <laughs> so to start, we've got our structure here made out of really, really sturdy materials. That's, please, please. That's fishing twine, isn't it? Son? Okay, so here we are on the inside, and you'll see down here we've got what we call uh, saddle seats. So What's the weight capacity on these things, son? 250 pounds. I looked it up. Uh huh. Yes. Is that all? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You can of course, you've got your lights. Uh huh. So good for at least, a, you know, at least a little bit. So that's good. Things we're most proud of. We have snacks. Okay, that's where most of the budget went. Ah, uh, must have snacks. Am I right? Must have snacks. Must have snacks. Must have snacks. So I'm going to. Now, we've got your standard great value brand cheese crunchums. And then you got your church cookies. Ooh. And you know, ah, <laughs> ah, ah, you guys like Cheez Its? Well, then you're gonna be, you're gonna kind of like these. These are cheese nips. So, <laughs> so they're not Cheez Its. More food groups, points for that. And I bet you're thinking, <laughs> what are we gonna do for a game? What? Whoa! Wow, how do we play? Oh my gosh, well, everyone gets one. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, go ahead, ref. Yeah, we open it up? Yeah, uh, go ahead. Open it up. That's the first part of the game. Step one is just get it open. You gotta yeah. get it open. There you go. You just got a point. And then what you do is you create your own game. This <laughs> <laughs> is a game inside a game, dude. I'm taking all this down. Actually, I have a question. Yeah. From what I can count. Yeah. There's five snacks. How do we well, get a bonus? How did you get an extra wide receiver? We didn't get it? What? How do you get extra wide receivers? That's a flag on the play. Penalized for that, sir. It smells good. Continue. This yours? You're welcome. It's got to be in here somewhere. Yeah. The reason is you're cheating. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Have you ever played DraftKings? Yeah. Is this the uh, tour conclusion? Yeah. <laughs> Would have been a lot better had someone not stolen my budget. Man, I feel that. Not gonna lie to you, son. I haven't seen an abomination this bad since '83. Oh, thank you. This looks like it was built by an inebriated <laughs> Sasquatch. I'm having, I'm having flashbacks right now, and not the not the fun kind. The bad kind that make you wet yourself in the middle of the night on a cold and stormy night. The goods are right here, Sorry. son. Thank you. I've taken down what I've what I've seen. I'll give you some points for creativity. So as of now, though, I'm in the lead. You, you need to watch your sass. He's gonna give a full point review analysis at the end of all the tours. That's right. correct. Let's see your fours. Welcome to whimsical whammy. Beautiful architecture on the outside. As you can see, I have a tent. A chair that can be used outside or inside. We have a skylight in the structure. You get a lot of breathable space because of oxygen. And you could look at the stars at night if need be. Come on in, take a peek. Another seat, so I have two seats. Light, 
at night. It's bright out right now, but as you can see, these lights do turn. I'm gonna get to the snacks before we evaluate this is. I have a table here, three different drawers, three different snacks because I get three different wide receivers. First snack. Nice. Kind bars. Wow. Would you gentlemen like one? Yeah. Sure. There we are. The pre-suns were so last year. It's now yeah. about Papulio. They are organic lemonades. Bold and tangy, non-GMO. Wow. That's non-GMO. Absolutely. Oh, That's great. Man. Bonus points for you. You have to have top tier snacks and Capri Suns are not a top tier snack. Now I have to be right back and I forgot to put my other snack. Oh, I won't. Was he injured? <laughs> hey, on the play. For the final drawer, my personal favorite drawer, the ice cream drawer. Nice. Organic, non-GMO, strawberry colada popsicles. Give it. Nice. Now, the moment I've been waiting for, the game. Now this Whoa. can actually be moved Whoa. out here. Whoa. My Look lemonade! Oh, down. Hey. I, have, I have plenty, dude. Now, we're gonna take turns rolling this dice. Two, oh, two bananas. bananas. Do not want to pop Joe. Is that oh. his name? Mojo. Can I try? Ooh, one banana. One banana. Oh yeah. You can gift another player a banana. Uh, I'm gonna give that to Andrew. You little rat. Oh. <laughs> we'll gift him a banana. Oh. Andrew! Andrew! You rat. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> Two, Two bananas. bananas. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, the hyper is the loser. So that's the game. You can play it many different ways, different times. I mean, that is a pretty fun game. But now I really wanted to show you guys that we all three could fit in here zipped up completely. Because if there were a storm, we could all hide out. There we go. If you look through the skylight, you nice. can see us all. Can you see us? Yeah, I can. I'm not talking to you, Andrew. Oh. I can. I can. Who are you talking to? Just Stop things. spitting on me. Okay, buddy. First, only one person could fit in hypersport, and we can all three fit in yours. What does that have to do with anything? It just means, like, maybe this one's better. We don't but know well, I thought we were taking into account budget, so. That is well. To be determined. I'm, just, I'm just wondering what the rest going to think. Yeah. Yeah. It's not looking good. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty impressed. I do enjoy the snacks. Got a little bit of, little bit of cold, a little bit of warm, a little bit of... Poppy Lou Pizzazz, that's good. I uh, like the capacity. What was that? I was just stoked. Getting spicy with me? <laughs> no, I'm like really pumped. Okay, good, good, good. The monkey roulette was a good touch. <laughs> I like that quite a lot. So, uh, it's looking good for you, son. It's looking good for All you. All right, thank you. It's time to check out my fort, Grill Me Up Commander. Come on in! So as you can see, I have a very large structure. Fits all of us comfortably. So we've got the couch. This is one of my favorite parts. Because the couch already has snacks, just already included. So you got a cup, you got bags of snacks. We've got the lights going around the whole area. They can hang up, but sometimes I like to just lay it down on the floor because that makes it seem more uh, like if you have to escape, you know, like. And then we got our other seat here, this big outdoor bean bag. But my favorite part is El Capitan. I mean, this has got Bluetooth, it's all electronic, it's got the smoke chamber up here. We spent $800 on furniture, which included these two things as well, which was 80% of the budget. It seems oh, like it's shaping up to be pretty neck and neck. Back off. <laughs> I'll let that just heat up for a sec. I'm not sure what this knob does. These are sweet potato and brown sugar chips. This thing is like candy. Mm. Low budgets don't get oh. snacks. All right, who's the yeah, I love games. You have to try to get me to guess something. When someone's very angry, what is that called? Aggression. Like, man, you have a fire, killer attitude. Mean. Kind of. Kind of. You're almost there. Mean What's girls. the opposite of good? Bad. Let's go. You have a bad temper. You get it. Oh, good one. All right. Oh, kind of like what we're doing right now, and we're like really joyous, partying, having fun. What like emotion? Tooting. Happy. Yes. And like, what is? What do you? What would you go with this? Like in the woods, you go happy vibes, happy camper. Yes. Oh. Okay. Uh, uh, when you want to do the. Yes. Yes. I won. He lost because he has a low budget. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that was sick. I'd like to show to the ref that these are a, a local Colorado business. We we support local businesses. Sarah Sausage. Yeah. You know Sarah? Sarah's sausages. It's pronounced sausage. Sausage. Do you know Sarah? No. But you? Anyway. Son. <laughs> let me think. Okay. 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 Let me think. I said. Yeah. Who do y'all think is gonna? Then mine was fairly good for the price. I gotta say. What would you like to say biasly about yours? It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> But I think there's a chance I mean, that one of you two could win. There's always oh, a chance yeah. because every ref yeah. is different, so their opinions uh -huh. towards things tend to be different. Yeah. I would like to say that they all try to stay within the same mindset to keep the game fair, right? <laughs> True. Yeah. Oh, man. This anticipation's <laughs> killing me. <laughs> I like the square footage. I think the location's good. I think there's a bit of an eyesore right over there, of course. I do think that these lights down here might be a bit of a fire hazard. A bunch of dry brush, electrical uh, exposed. 
next to a giant full tank of propane. Good to know, good to know. Doubt this is fireproof, Who so put that there? like to see that. I like the candy uh, like chips in the game. Not quite as good as the monkey roulette, but oh. there is snossages. Whatever you is. It's my turn, okay? Oops. They look good, but they're raw. Didn't, well, uh, I didn't, didn't time to cook them. <laughs> you didn't cook them. I'd like to see some cooked sausages, but I will say uh, this contraption right here, this thing impresses me. This thing looks like it could do my taxes, tutor my grandkids, and grill my sausages for me. Stop looking at my... I'm deducting points for that sign. <laughs> Whoa, I'm just a camera guy. You're in the negatives now. Oh. It's like the third time you've done that. For a first time in budget challenge history. So I'll need to get into some deliberation and uh, the verdict. All right, fourth win. Yes, we love this. The referee has tallied up the scores. He has who he thinks the winner is. All right, boys, in 63 and a half years of Fort Building Challenge uh, refereeing, I've seen a lot of ups, a lot of downs. Please back it up a little bit, making me nervous. You know, I think that this competition ran the whole gamut. I saw a lot of downs and a couple of ups. So just to review real quick, I think the uh, T-Rex tent over here, it, it made me sad. I, yeah, I didn't like it. Just to <laughs> wrap it up for you in a nutshell, whimsical whammy. It was good. I liked it. I like the fact that the uh, tent can hold three full-sized amateurs. I like the fact that it's bear-proof. Banana roulette really uh, buttered my biscuit. However, this one over here, I like the square footage. Location next to the uh, sad Sasquatch shelter was less than ideal, and it was a massive fire hazard, but uh, that grill buttered my biscuit even better. So I'm going to have to go with Grill Me Up Commander as the winner. And I'd like to draw attention to uh, Mr. Sassafras's end goal right here. <laughs> negative that's two that's for the worst real. time in budget history. Hyper with a negative score. Oh man, but that means I won! Oh. Let's go! I knew we could do it! Finally! Some justice for the big budgets. Well said. Thank you. Thanks again to DraftKings for sponsoring the video. Guys, link in the description if you want to download it. Go ahead and do that. But other than that, click up here to watch these other two videos if you want. And make sure you laugh daily. Bulls. Yeah, next time. Goodbye! <laughs>